I feel like a narrator of my own life. What's going on you guys? Welcome back. Hi. Hello. I'm your mental video here on YouTube and today I'm talking about BPD and lack of identity slash motivation. You're already thinking, Lydia, how are you going to put these two subjects together? With the help of my very, very, very scruffy written there. Sometimes I don't know what I am, what I feel. I don't know what I like, I don't know what I dislike, I don't know what to do. And I also fear happiness because there is, when you're happy there's just so much more you can lose than when you're just depressed. I actually did the depression scoring thing yesterday and I scored 22. I know I put on a happy face and whatnot but I've literally been lying in bed doing nothing this morning. So in the morning now it's what time is it? It is 28 minutes past 3 in the afternoon. I've been awake since about 6, 7ish. Let's come with the video. I have a quick task for you all. Go down to the comment section. Write two, three of your interests and things you like doing, things you enjoy doing. Write up one fact about you. My question to you is, who are you? And the reason I'm asking that question is because so many people with a diagnosis of BPD lack self-identity, myself included. I've made loads of videos talking about my identity issues, not really knowing how to conform, not knowing how to be. Pause the video if you, um, need time to do that. The reason I asked you to do that is because it gets you to thinking about the subject that we're going to be talking about in this video. But I have to say this in the beginning, BPD is a massively misunderstood mental illness. Like there is so much stigma associated with it. I wish I could say it's getting better as days go on but if anything I think it's just becoming more and more stigmatised. Um, if you want a video on why I think that let me know in the comments down below. Every time I feel happy, I spend most of my time questioning why and even more time thinking about the fact that it's not going to last, which ends up with me getting very frustrated. Which something that always crossed in my mind and something that I always think about, am I ever going to be good enough? And often all I end up thinking, I'm never going to be enough, so why am I bothering to try? And then that's where the self-sabotage comes in or that's when you start to go deeper into the depression. And I want to put this in the video, depression is addictive, you know what to expect and you'd have a lot to lose. When I was younger, my mum always made out that I was an unmotivated dumbass. When I was first diagnosed with any of my mental illness diagnosis, when I was diagnosed with depression and when I was diagnosed with BPD, I was told by professionals that what I was experiencing with the lack of motivation and like, the very physical I had was because of my depression and because of what I'd grown in prom, so because of the PTSD, because of my childhood trauma, because of my depression, because of my personality disorder, because it validated the feeling and it made me realise I'm not just sitting around doing nothing all day. I feel this way because of an actual thing. And then I knew what I to work on. And for a bit, I did get better. I did do really well for about a year. And then my mental health took a dive. And from there, it's deteriorated to the point I'm at now, which is I am basically at the bottom and I am trying my hardest to get out of this hole. And I'm not doing a very good job. The one thing anyone with BPD will say is we just want stability. It's the one thing I want in life, stability. I said it in my appointment this week with my care coordinator. I was like, all I want is to feel stable. You know, that, that's literally all I want. And I want to fix myself, but I really, really don't know where to start. BPD is a complicated mental illness. That's all I've got for the video, so thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said at the beginning, please hit the subscribe button if you're new. I'm tired, as you can probably tell.